For our latest interview, we speak to Carol Albury, the director of Haynes Chocolates, about how the business has been coping with the pandemic, its latest launch of its own brand chocolate, and how the business is looking forward to 2021 with its expanded range of products. Okay, well, at the beginning of the pandemic, it's been a bit of a roller coaster, hasn't it? Um, so we closed for three weeks. Um, naively, I thought that if we all closed for three weeks, in three weeks' time, life would get back to normal. Um, I don't think I was alone in that, but at months on, I can realise now how naive I was. But we did close for three weeks, and we took that time to take stock, and we looked at the business from um, top to bottom and bottom to top again, and really have spent time trying to future-proof the business. Sure. Um, so we've uh, we started with things, staff training immediately, um, investment in, in equipment, um, looked at energy savings, so we've invested in new energy saving lighting, water savings. Um, so we've really been, we've got a new website um, just about to launch, go live in September. So we've used our time wisely. Can you talk to me about some of the challenges in reorganising the business over the past few months? How tricky has that been? I think the biggest challenge is that 98% of our customers closed overnight. That's the biggest challenge. So um, we've got a very, very varied customer base. And at no point did we think that ever 98% <laughs> of our customers would close overnight. So that was, I think the biggest challenge was that. But actually, um, as I say, we closed for three weeks and then when we came back, we, we had orders and every week since then we've seen improvement. So um, we consider ourselves very lucky, really. Um, within the factory, we've got plenty of space. So we've uh, not had any problems with social distancing. We've got a really good team. So I think the biggest problem was just everyone being closed um, and then getting back to a more normal, a new normal. And um, just coming to your own involvement with the company, so it's your parents who started it off. So did they actively encourage you to be part of it or was it something you felt quite strongly drawn to? Um, I grew up with it. Um, so weekends, summer holidays were helping mum and dad in their cafe. But it wasn't something, no, I wasn't a plan to work within the business. Um, I used to live in Blackpool and one day dad came over to see me and he wasn't very well and I was worried about him so I followed him back to Lincolnshire and uh, he had to have some time off work and I started working within the business and never left again so I never went back home I never went back home to Blackpool I just literally went to pack back up and and, and moved to Skegness um, and from there at the time we were big selling ice cream in, the, in this area and as we've evolved, we evolved into making chocolate and never looked back. And for those that may not be familiar with the business, your your main area of specialism has been in the kind of the, the white label, the private label. So can you explain how that works? Yeah, so, um, so we started, as I said, originally making candy where people would come to us and ask for uh, their rock and candy with their company name in the middle and their company colours. And that expanded to putting logos on chocolate, which then into logos on packaging. And just with a wealth of experience, we now deal with um, a whole host of blue chip companies and supermarkets. Um, hopefully, where they go to people, if you want something making, in, if you want something making in chocolate, um, hopefully you'll come to me. But uh, this was your launch for the for your own, your first launch of your own chocolate range at ISM. So how did that go for you this year? It went tremendously well. I'm really proud of the British chocolate range. We thought about it from the roots up. So we looked at the chocolate from, um, we're a British manufacturer, so we wanted it to be a celebration of Britishness. So we examined the, um, the palette of the, of the country, what British people want in chocolate and, um, We've used British milk to in a in the milk chocolate and the white chocolate, and it's a fantastic product. The packaging we went for um, all British themes also, so 
bowler hats to red buses. It's a real celebration of Britishness and it went down fantastically well. We had a lot of interest. Everything was going swimmingly. And then there was a pandemic, which is not a good year to launch a new product. Um, every buyer, uh, every buyer, or every person in the country seemed to be furloughed. Um, so we paused the launch and that restarts now. Um, I think it's going it, it's given us some new routes that we didn't have previously um, and new focus on the business. So it's, it's years of work and experience all poured into those products. Um, I think it's going to be really, it's going to be fantastic. Um, so, but we, we are going to keep running our private label business alongside that though. And just on a, on a personal level, you've been in the industry quite a long time now. Uh, can you tell us what makes it an interesting and engaging one to be involved with from your own perspective? I mean, to be honest, there's nothing not to like. Um, but personally for me, I, I love the challenge of my job. Um, it's a, it's a... 24 seven roller coaster ride. If I'm not eating it, I'm looking at it. Um, even when we're on holiday, we're looking to see what's happening with it. It's just, it's just a really nice industry to be in. Um, I couldn't imagine selling shower curtains or anything. Uh, the passion for chocolate is, is much greater. Um, and I think that can be um, shared by most people. Great stuff indeed. And can you talk to me about the, the size of your team so people can understand the sort of scale of the business there? Um, so we've got a really good, strong team. Um, so we've got a graphics department, um, which we spent quite a lot of money in the last couple of years, uh, which really helps us with our private label business. So it's uh, including a print studio um, so we can print in-house packaging, cut and crease machines to allow us to design packaging. We've got graphic designers, um, a web, uh, someone to help us with our website, um, a great admin team, great food safety team. So we've just taken a, a new member of staff on yesterday, so that increases our food safety team to three people. Um, we've got enough room within the chocolate, we've got one chocolate room, three packing rooms, two warehouses. Um, All together, there's around 50 people work within the business on a day to day and that can double during busy times and peak at, you know, for Christmas, Valentine's, Easter. Stuff. And, and in terms of your focus for the next few months, uh, obviously the, the new launch coming up, your own range coming up, uh, are there any other areas that you're going to be placing a priority on at all? Yeah, so we've, uh, during the pandemic, I say we, we looked to future proof the business. So we looked at everything and we bought a, um, some, a new production line to help us uh, with some new products and new product development also to give us a bit more capacity. And in addition to that, we bought um, the equipment to help us make chocolate shavings so that we can um, move it to a, a little bit more into the cake decoration market and also cake toppers with decorations and logos. So it could be a patterned version or company branding on those. So that's an area that we're looking to to um, broaden our horizons with within a company and open a new market for okay, us. And in terms of developing new products, how challenging is that to come up with something that's going to stand out in the marketplace? Um, it's always a challenge, but we're really lucky because we're pri we work a lot of private label work. We work with lots of companies, and they come up with such fabulous ideas. Um, so we're constantly product developing. Um, and within our own Haynes brand recently, uh, as you know, in January, we launched the trade for the British bars. We also do a, a dark milk, a high cocoa uh, milk bar. And you know, people are looking for, dark, you know, the dark milk is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a blend of the, the dark, um, the dark chocolate that people are enjoying and yeah. the health benefits that come with dark chocolate, which gives you less sugar, but also gives you the, the comforting feeling of milk chocolate is what I'm trying to say. I know there's a lot of focus now on trying to create healthier ranges with reduced sugar and uh, calories. Uh, is that something that you've been actively working on yourselves at all? Um, I think I see chocolate as an affordable luxury. Um, so we've tried to make go down the quality route 
more than the health route. So when the customer palate is used to an amount of sugar, to replace that or to reduce it in a short period of time is not going to be an easy task. I think it needs to be worked over a period of years rather than straight away.